What's going on guys? Alex Survey on 4EDC and today I have a quick couple of packages to unbox for you guys today. Uh, so one is coming from Naf Sergeant aka Just Naf. I believe these are two Kvist Bladeworks um, Vanish prototypes or one or two. I, I don't think it's two um, but I believe it's a Kvist uh, Bladeworks Vanish prototype. And then here this package is coming from Mr. Kevin aka Lefty EDC. Um, one knife is one that I purchased off of him, and this feels like a pretty heavy package. So I, uh, when I bought the knife off of him, I asked, you know, I said, hey, Kev, would you, you know, uh, would you mind throwing in a couple loaners, uh, you know, of some stuff I haven't checked out yet? So I gave him a few of his knives um, that are still in his collection that I haven't got to see yet. And uh, I think there's at least probably two or three of his own personal knives in here. So I'm really excited for that. Um, we're going to open up the uh, Kvist Blade Works real quick here. Uh, unbox the unboxing knife is actually a new knife to me. This is the Blade HQ slash um, Vox Dapper. This is a Blade HQ exclusive, and they did a like daily deal on these. Uh, these originally go for like one fifty four, and they did a daily deal for I think it was one hundred four ninety nine. And I have been looking for a dapper for or I've been looking at the dapper for quite a while. Um, and I've always really been intrigued by it, and I just never got around to picking one up. So when I saw this, I think it was actually on Kevin's Instagram, I saw that he put on a story um, about the deal, and I was like, you know, that's, that's too good to pass up. So I you know, pulled the trigger on one, and I snagged one. And um, I, after work on Wednesday, I went directly to my uh, fiance's parents' house. I hung out there for the night, stayed the night there, and then we did Thanksgiving at their house on Thanksgiving. I'm filming this on Friday, so Thanksgiving was yesterday. And then after Thanksgiving there, I went to um, my family's Thanksgiving. So I didn't get home until late last night. Uh, and I was really, you know, wanting to open this up because it was delivered on Wednesday. Um, so I didn't film a video on this, but a full review definitely will be coming on this thing. Um, super snappy, you know, definitely a very comfortable knife on the small end, of course, but uh, just overall very unique design. And I'm, I'm really, really glad I finally uh, pulled the trigger on snagging one because they're, you know, I've heard before that... Um, Fox, who makes these out of Italy, can be kind of hit or miss with their, you know, quality checks and stuff like that. Um, but this has, you know, very good lock up, um, drops to your thumb, S very, very snappy detent, uh, came very, very sharp. And the micarta is really well done. So um, I'm super excited to add one of these to the collection. And uh, sorry, I didn't get a, you know, a video film for you guys. But um, like I said, I there's just some knives that I don't want to wait for. Um, typically, I do wait as long as I, you know, if I'm going to be able to do one the next day, uh, I'll wait. But today my dad and I went to, uh, get a Christmas tree. We always go and get a Christmas tree the day after Thanksgiving. My family gets, you know, goes and gets a lot of Christmas trees, which I love. So it's kind of a tradition we do. Um, so I wasn't home a lot, you know, until this evening. So I'm finally being able to sit down and unbox these. Luckily, these two came today, so I wasn't tempted to open them without turning the camera on, but you know, it is what it is, so. All right. Make sure there's nothing in there. All right, so a package inside of a package. All right, so yes, there is a box and a... Um, little thing from uh, Kvis Bladeworks. Jacob, you guys all know Kvis Bladeworks by now. I have the, um, the original variant PE now dressed up in some White Storm fat carbon scales. Absolutely love this knife. Um, I got this on a Kickstarter probably about this time last year. Uh, but you know, by now he has the original variant PE. He has the PE2 that has come out that had a, it's basically this knife with a front flipper. Um, he has the PE3 in prototyping stage, which is a uh, more premium, I think, um, version, a frame lock version with 20 CV. He has the, um, actually, yeah, or wait, is this the Vanish or the Variant? Okay, so I was mistaken. I thought this was the Vanish um, prototype, but actually this is a... Um, PE3. So this is the third variation of the variant. Um, I didn't pick up a variant or a PE2 because I didn't feel the need to get one just because of the front flipper. Um, but yeah, this 
Okay, so variant PE3. Cool, I thought this was the Vanish prototype, which are his little um, slip joints that he's doing. So that is cool. That's very kind of a pleasant surprise, but. Okay, cool. And we have the colorway that I um, am most intrigued about out of the two. So of course, here's a Kvist Blade Works sticker and a um, Kvist Blade Works logo. And here is the knife, guys. So I believe he, I don't know if he has names on here. Um, so he has this one and then just the um, plain like stonewashed titanium with a stonewashed blade. Uh, and he has two different names for him. I want to say this is like Killmonger or something. Or this, uh, yeah, I think this is Killmonger. And the other one is like the Silver Samurai or something like that. Um, but some specs on here. So this is a solid titanium frame lock, uh, titanium TA hardware, uh, titanium milled clip. So that's a new thing with the, the PE3. Instead of a loop over style deep carry clip, you have a titanium milled clip. Uh, three inch 20 CV blade, which is hollow ground. That's really cool. I didn't know that. Uh, 3.2 ounces, seven, seven inch overall length. Um, it is manufactured by QSP. Uh, and it, on here it says the pre order um, price is going to be 178 and is going to be 199 retail. Um, so I don't think he's on a pre order for these yet, but it is dead centered. And this is, re I really like this finish. Um, it's kind of like a bronzed finish, but. Yes, sir. Flies right out of there, and it feels just like my variant. Um, see how the frame lock works? Oh, very smooth. Sounds like it. So, um, if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you would have seen that I did have the PE2 in for review, and they were the titanium ones, and it felt heavy. Um, I don't know if they sort of slimmed down the titanium like width um because on the paper here it says 3.2 ounces so i don't know like i said if if they happen to uh you know make it a little bit lighter because that was the one complaint that i had with the the pe2 was that it was kind of heavy it, you know it was kind of cumbersome um but this i really you know i don't have any issues at all with it it has a good weight to it um feels very comfortable in the hand and I'm sure once I get in a pocket, I'm not going to have that many issues either because um, just overall, the maybe it's because it was a, a liner lock. So you the liners in there too. That might have made sort of an issue. Um, but this feels substantially lighter. But I will say the detent does feel kind of light. Um, you know, there's no blade play or anything like that. And it drops very, very well. But... Um, the detent does feel a little bit light, so that's going to be something I want to monitor and kind of, uh, you know, see if I notice anything different, you know, as the week and a half or so passes that I have this. But, uh, you know, front flipper, very snappy when you get it out there. But I can easily, you know, if you don't get a good middle finger flick, you can easily fail it. Um, and the thumb flick kind of is right up into that corner and it fires right out. So, um, yeah, I really like this model. Um, I'm really happy to see Jacob doing a lot of different, um, you know, taking his basic knife, which his original variant PE was based off of his customs that I don't think he does as much anymore just because he doesn't have a whole lot of time with everything else that he has going on. Um, because like I said, he has this in prototyping stage. He has the um, Vanish slip joints in prototyping phase. He has, I think, some Altum like utility blade in uh, prototyping phase that Kevin has. And then he also has the Veritas, which is another prototype that looks really cool. Uh, so he's very, very busy, but, um, you know, fits great in the hand. I love mine. So um, I might be a little bit more inclined to pick one of these up because it is more premium. You have the titanium, you have that milled clip, and you have um, 20 CV, which is, you know, an upgrade over um, 14C28N for sure. As much as I love 14C, tw you know, 20 CV is just a very high-end steel nowadays. So um, I'll be interested to see... You know how this detent feels as the days go on but um right now it does feel a little bit light so um but yeah that is the Kvis blade works variant pe3 prototype in dlc and i want to say kind of like burnt bronze um or bronze anodized a really really cool 
um, variant. So set that to the side. I feel like I talked about that for quite a while, so I apologize about that, guys. But um, And then here we have Kevin's package, which I'm really, really excited for because some of the knives that I asked to um, check out are some basically all really high-end knives. Um, all right, so there's a pouch. Here is a box. So this is my knife. And then here is another pouch, and of course... You get all the Lefty EDC swag. Oh, okay, so all out. Toss that over here. So you get a growler sticker. So that's kind of a cool uh, exclusive sticker they're giving with all the growlers, um, which are, I just saw, I think earlier this week, they were en route to uh, White Mountain Knives. So that's really cool. I'm definitely going to be picking one of those up. Uh, Lefty Live sticker little lefty edc sticker another lefty live sticker and another little lefty edc sticker so um, those will probably get tossed in the giveaway pile um but i'm definitely going to keep this growler which i should get another one when i buy the growler but um so oh and another lefty live it kind of escaped me back towards my tv so got lots of swag um all right so we're going to open up my knife first which this might give you guys a little bit of a oh it's catching the glare bad but giving you guys a little bit of a hint of what I purchased from Mr. Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. I don't know if you included this Band-Aid or if this is from Factory. Um, he also, also tossed in a couple Weeha bits. I don't know if that is from Kevin or if that is, also comes from Factory, but that's cool. Um, they're actually Weeha, which is really nice. It's a uh, T8 and a T6, so that's cool. Uh, thank you, Kevin, if you toss these in can never have too many bits laying around. And then here is the knife peeking out of there, guys. And if you, oh, and a sticker. Okay, that's cool. Little mini Bridgeport Knife Co. 395 sticker. Unwrap it out of its shell. Really nice big microfiber. And here is the knife, guys. So this is, like I said, the Bridgeport Knife Co. 395. And if you've been a long time viewer of the channel, um, you can remember that I had this knife in on, um, on loan, but it was uh, the prototype. And I think I was the second person to get it behind Kevin. Um, I found Bridgeport Knife Co. on Instagram, and I followed him. And then he started posting some pictures of this. And I was like, hey, like, you know, if that's a prototype, I would love to check it out. Love to review it for my channel and stuff like that. Uh, and the guy behind it, his name is Garrett. I believe he's roughly around my age. Um you know, we got to talking and Garrett's a great guy. And he's like, yeah, dude, I'd love to send one to you. So um, Kevin had it first and then he sent it to me. And I really, really enjoyed this knife, guys. Uh, my my review was very, very solid. Uh, and I'm really ashamed to say, and I'm really kind of kicking myself in the ass for not picking one of these up on the pre-order. Um, you know, I had this knife in. I enjoyed it for the week and a half or two weeks that I had it. I gave a really positive review and I probably said in the review, like, I, I'm planning on picking one of these up. Um, and then, you know, a couple months later, a couple weeks, months, whatever you want to say, later, the pre-order came to be, and I just didn't end up picking one up. Um, I don't know if it's just because I didn't want to spend the money at the time, or if I had other stuff tied up, or if I just bought other knives. Something led me to not getting a pre-order spot. Um, and it really kind of made me upset, because after it ended, and after I realized, like, okay, I, I really, like, I think there was a time where I realized I wanted one. I went to grab one and it was, you know, all sold out or he ended it or something like that. Um, so I kind of, kind of was pissed with myself. Um, so I made a um, kind of mental note, like, hey, when this comes out, like when he does a little drop, make sure to get one, make sure to pick one up because I want to support Garrett. Um, Cause again, he's, you know, my age, maybe a little bit younger. Um, and I really like the design guys. It's a super good knife. It's a super good knife for a good price too. Um, like these are, I think they got sold for like 120, um, 14C28N, uh, titanium liner lock. Um, the, the prototype that I worked or that I had didn't have the black accents, but this was going to be the same exact one that I bought because I wanted the black clip. I wanted all the black hardware. Um, I think Kevin put skiffs in here, so this thing is just stupid drop shut, and it's my first uh, experience with skiffs, which would be cool. But um, I reached out to Kevin like shortly after he posted a video on Instagram of this knife and i said hey if you ever want to get rid of 395 i'll take it off your hands uh, and he responded back 
uh, something like it. He's going to do a drop in December, you know, be on the lookout then. So I was like, okay, I'll, you know, definitely check that out. Keep my eyes on, you know, keep my eyes peeled for it. Um, but then he messaged me a couple of days ago and was like, hey, you know, do you want the 395? I'm going to make a video. I'm trying to sell some stuff. You told me you wanted it. You still want it. And I was like, yeah. Um, so he sold it to me and here it is in my collection. I'm, I'm super glad I did because it's just, it's a really good knife, guys. Like I just, uh, like having this in my collection now makes me still a little annoyed that I missed on the pre-order um, and just annoyed, but also happy because I'm really glad I have one in. Uh, and, and, you know, I wanted, really wanted to support Garrett. Obviously my money didn't go directly to him, but I wanted his knife in my collection. Um, something that actually happened to him, I think during the pre-order is like PayPal took all of his money. So he had a lot of issues with like moving the pre-order around to different sites and using different payment methods and stuff like that. So that was really shitty of PayPal to kind of screw him out of his money like that. I still think he's waiting like on a way, uh, a claim of some sort to see what happens. Um, but yeah, this thing is just so, so nice. It's just, it's, it's my vibe too. I love the blade shape and the handle and I love, you know, the, the cutout was one of the most positive things I think I talked about on the uh, review that I did. But like I said, Kevin has, I'm um, sorry, my dog is barking. I think my sister just got home, but um, it just feels so good and it's so smooth and the skiffs really uh, make this thing work great. So um, that is a 395 and that is going to be in my collection for a very, very long time. I don't think I will ever sell it. Um, I say that now, but um, I'm just really glad I had this one in. So, all right, now which one do I open? Do I open the, the pouch or the case? Um, I'm going to go pouch first. Oh, okay, sweet. So, um, like I said, I, I gave him like five or six knives that I saw in his knife case that I hadn't got to check out yet. Uh, and they were all pretty baller knives. Um, and this is definitely qualified as a baller knife. Uh, so this is a uh, Christensen Knife Works or Christensen Design Works. I think Christensen Knife Works Maverick S. Um, these are made by Riot. And Kevin has a super balled out edition um, with a Zerko tie. And I think this, like, f I don't know if it's fat carbon or, or carbon fiber. Um, but this thing is really, really cool. I've been kind of intrigued by this knife ever since he got it. I think he got this at Blade Show Atlanta. Um, and it, this is like the only knife he ended up keeping from that because he came home with a whole big, um, pretty, a pretty big haul. But we'll give this a thumb flick. Oh, flies right out of there. Super comfortable in hand. Um, it's a very sexy looking Warncliffe. There is the Christensen Knife Works logo. Um, I think these are M390. That's all I'm going to say on here. But um, And these are also made by Ria, I think. But you have the Zerkutai clip. The Zerkutai um, thumb studs, excuse me, and then the Zerkutai pivot collars, which is really, really cool. So, um, and is a titanium uh, liner lock. So it's super, super smooth. Not a guillotine, um, but it's really, really smooth. Very glassy feeling almost. Um, we'll see how, no blade play. I didn't expect any from Kev. Um, you also have a Zerkutai backspacer, which is really cool as well. But it just drops. It's super lightweight, too, because you have the um, fat carbon or carbon fiber. Um, I'll definitely have to check in with Kev or find a, you know, a website listing to see exactly what this material is. But um, really, really smooth and just a very kind of sinister looking knife, but really, really utilitarian. You can drop down. has a really nice hollow grind, too, which is another sort of added bonus um just a very like right in my wheelhouse with size and you know overall you know uh, blade shape and everything like that so uh, i'm really intrigued to check this out too so that is the christensen knife works maverick s and i think there is one more to check out so i apologize guys this is a longer video just because i've done a lot of talking um but in the little hard case we have Oh, yes. All right, so we're going from one Warnie to another Warnie. And you guys can obviously tell this is a Brian Brown Jaeger. 
Kevin has a couple of these, and he sent me the one with, I think, Brittany or Tiffany Blue, which is really nice. Has a little bit of um, an inlay right there. The Brian Brown logo. Milled pocket clip. Oh, middle finger flick is nice. That is a very, kind of a stiff detent. But that flies out of there. Kings, oh, super comfortable. Um, I believe this has a nice hollow grind too. So two worn cliffs that have beautiful hollow grinds. Um, I think this is M390 or 20CV as well. Um, the thing is super comfortable. You have a choil up here you can choke up. Nice landing pad up there. Frame lock. It looks like you have to be careful because if you let it drop down to your nail, you're probably going to take a chunk of your nail out or it's going to slash your cuticle. Um, dead centered. This also has a Zurku tie backspacer, I think. So Kevin obviously got the flipperless version, which I think if I, I was considering buying one of these back when they kind of came out, um, but I held off. But if I were to buy one, I, I think, uh, excuse me, I think I would have got this the flipperless version too, just because you have that nice landing choil down here, or finger choil you can choke up on. Um, yeah, this is a dope knife, guys. This is, uh, these are definitely two really bougie knives. So, um, huge shout out to Kevin for sending me these two and for selling me this one. Um, can't forget about this bad boy. Love this thing. And then also to the, I think it's a, uh, a lefty pass around group for allowing me to check out the Kvist Blade Works Variant PE3. This is a really cool knife too. So um, lots of really cool knives in today, guys. Um, I think that's all. So smooth. Nice and drop shutty. And then lastly, I think this detent might be a little soft, but